Good afternoon, Judge Randolph. My Good name afternoon. is Catalina Gutierrez, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to stand before this court in support of my friend, Michelle Tocas. I have met Michelle over 20 years ago while we were both living in Buenos Aires, Argentina. We had an instant connection, but it's easy to connect with Michi. She is an open and curious soul who can relate to people on a very intimate level by giving you her undivided attention 100% of the time. Through the years, she has become one of my closest and dearest friends. We became our chosen family when our families were far away. With all the ups and downs of life, you can count on Michi to hear you out, offer help or a hug if needed. You can always count on her for an unfiltered opinion, have sincere advice, or simply be your best cheerleader. With her on your side, you feel anything is possible. Michi has a way of making you feel special. I most admire how Michelle has embraced motherhood, she is a devoted mother to Nicole, and her dedication is inspiring. Nicole is her main priority, and Michi always has her daughter's best interest at heart. Michi has encouraged Nicole to follow her passions from a very young age. When Nicole showed interest in competitive skiing, her mother was right by her side to organize and coordinate her equipment, her training, her races, and her schooling. She would, take Michelle, she would take Nicole wherever she needed to be, whether it be in the United States, Argentina, or Europe. I would often call her and ask her, what mountain are you on today? She has been there for her always, proudly watching Nicole flourish to the best of her abilities. They have a very close relationship and a bond that is beautiful to see. They are always together and love sharing their experiences. <sighs> Knowing how important they are to each other, I pray that they will not be separated. When Michel and Gaston, Nicole's father, separated because of Michelle's insistence on a clear and honest communication. They navigated the challenges of co-parenting across countries and continents in what seemed like a seamless and harmonious way. She ensures that they remain a unified team to provide their daughter with the best possible well-being, sharing holidays, birthdays, vacations, even after they had separated. I have spent many vacations with them and my children while they were together and after they had grown apart. Gaston and Michelle have a strong camaraderie and understand that their daughter is their most important priority while respecting each other's life choices. Michelle is a beautiful person who is a loyal, generous, and loving friend. In over 20 years, I have never seen Michelle treat anybody with anything but respect, kindness, and a smile. Michi is a woman who says what she thinks and does what she says. It is extremely refreshing to meet people like her who are unique and authentic and not afraid to show it. I am honored to call her my friend and grateful for having her in my life. Michi is a special person who has inspired me to change my perspectives, live outside of the box, and most of all, enjoy the moment. I strongly believe that her story, her true story, has not been told. And I, oh, and I pray she will have the opportunity to do so one day, and that her caring nature and positive impact on others are not overlooked. Thank you. Thank you. Mindful of the time, Your Honor, there are several people that had uh, wanted to attend that were unable to that we're going to give, uh, we're going to speak. So what I did is have those individuals um, <clears throat> record statements, and I'm just going to, they're, they're, they're all brief, but I'm going to just note the names of the individual. May I see, be seated while yes. I do that? Yes. First person is um, Maria Cerso. Cersa Simo. Second 
Well. <coughs> Years, sir. Well, my name is Maria Salsocio. I live in Miami Beach, and I am a mother of two daughters, ages 17 and 14. Nicole went to Casa de Bambini Montessori School in Miami Beach with my oldest daughter, Luna, and that is how Michi and I became close friends. The girls were in the same class up until Michi and Nicole moved to Connecticut at the end of 2017. Michelle always had a friendly attitude and we connected right away, sharing years of birthday celebrations, art classes after school, ice skating classes, school plays, and many, many play dates. Getting to know her better through these meetings, it quickly became clear that Michi's main focus and priority in life was her daughter, Nicole. Michi would and does prioritize Nicole's education, well-being, and needs before anything else. She has always been the super mom, not only due to her devotion towards children, but in the sense that she was always considered the cool mom amongst the kids because of her ability to connect with them and her love for sports. Michi always organized the best playdates, full of fun activities. Her love for children was always, always palpable. And I knew that dropping my daughters off at Michi's house meant a pickup full of smiles and stories of how much they had enjoyed themselves while being there. I met Gaston, Nicole's father, many times, and it was admirable how well Michi and him got along while being separated. Both of them committed to Nicole and supporting her athletic career as a professional skier, as a united family amidst their separation. I comprehend the seriousness of the situation and stand in full awareness in support of Michelle Traconis. I respectfully request that you please take this letter into consideration when making your sentencing decision. The next is from um, Gaston Begwe, who is um, the father of their child that has been discussed. Good afternoon, Your Honor, Terry Randolph. I am Gaston Begue, Michelle's partner and father of our daughter, Nicole. I wanted to provide insight into the character of Michelle Traconis in relation to her upcoming sentence. I met Michelle in 2003, and since 2004, we shared eight years of our life together. Her passion for life, her love for people and world travel were part of the things that I like about her. After spending time together, we decided to bring Nicole, our daughter, into the world as a symbol of our love. Since our separation, we maintain a healthy and a very good relationship because of the love that remains between us for our daughter and because we understand that this is the way to relate. Michelle is a great mother, always looking after our daughter, helping her with schoolwork, cultural education, uh, as well as a sport, because it's also very important for us. For Michelle, for Michelle, her family is very important and always come first. Of Venezuelan origin, Michelle is the oldest of four sisters. Her parents, two professional, forming their daughters under the value of the honesty, work, and joy. They are very united family. I am deeply aware of the seriousness of the situation and I implore mercy from you to carefully consider my testimony as you make your sentences decision. Thank you for taking your time and consider my perspective. Thank you very much. Well, the next person is from Lisa Anderson. Uh, and today, on the 6th of May, 2024, I address you with a heavy heart. Before I proceed to read the character reference letter for Michelle Traconis, I wish to extend our deepest condolences to the Farber family and all those affected by the tragic loss of Jennifer. Now I will present the character reference from both my husband and myself. Dear Judge Randall, we are ready to offer our heartfelt support and provide a character reference for Michelle Traconis. We have had the privilege of knowing Michelle for eight years through our involvement in Ski Club Vale, where our daughters train together. In that time, we have come to deeply admire her generous nature and strong moral character. 
Michelle is not only a dedicated mother to her daughter, Nicole, an exemplary representative of the United States Alpine Skiing, but also a cherished friend and a pillar of support within our community. Despite the challenging circumstances she has faced, Michelle has remained steadfast in her commitment to her daughter and our community. Throughout the years, we have witnessed Michelle's kindness, compassion, and positive influence extend beyond her own family. She has always been there for other child athletes and parents. On many occasions, she was the first to reach out and congratulate our daughter on a win, or give her a comforting hug after a bad run or injury. She brings sandwiches for all the kids to events and congratulate everyone at the finish line. Her selflessness and generosity are what she is known for in our community. Even during her trial and incarceration, Michelle continues to be a supportive mother to Nicole. It's a testament to her dedication as a parent that Nicole has achieved remarkable success, including representing the United States in this year's World Junior Olympics in South Korea, all while her mother faces legal challenges. As we are sure you are aware, English is not Michelle's first language, and we can remember times where clarification was needed throughout our conversations together. Despite any language barriers, Michelle's warmth and sincerity are evident to all who know her well. In light of Michelle's exemplary character and, and dedication to her family, specifically her daughter, we respectfully request that Your Honor take these aspects into account. We have always seen Michelle as a person of integrity and kindness. It is our sincere hope that her generous nature and positive impact on those around her are not overlooked. We believe from the bottom of our hearts that sadly, Michelle's true story has, le has been left untold. We hope beyond words that she will someday get this opportunity. Thank you for considering our perspective. If you require any further information or clarification, please don't hesitate to contact us. Sincerely, Lisa and Sam Anderson. Uh, the next uh, comments would be from Andrew King. Good morning. King and I'm 16 years old. Michelle is my godmother, but I see her as my second mom. And I'm thankful for her being my mom's closest sister because that allows me to see her the most. She's always been my hero because she's brave and has the biggest heart that she's able to share with everyone. She knows how to make us laugh no matter the situation, and that's why I love her the most. We've had so many fun times and memories together. I would never forget all the ski, ski trips we have done as their experiences I could only have dreamed of. Or the dirt bike adventures where there was this one time where I got a burn and she put a band-aid on it and I don't know how I would have ever recovered without that band-aid. During these tough legal years, Michi has helped my mom take care of all of us, taken us to school and supported me in my projects and sports. sports. She's always been there to celebrate my victories in soccer, track, and cross country. Please see how much good she's done for all of us who know and love her when you decide her sentence. Thank you, Your Honor, Andrew King. Uh, next would be from uh, Dr. Alvaro Ordonez. Oh, Your Honor, Dr. Ordonez, I'm a proud USA citizen and a proud immigrant. There's a reason why I mention this, and it has to do with some cultural ways and some cultural customs that people may have between some different countries, and culture is relevant to this case. People here have more boundaries in the way that things are said and done. Boundaries unbelievably matter and make a big difference. Opinion, perceptions are then also processed differently over here. I met Michelle Troconis back in 2014 because of mutual friends. We hit it off right away. I was happily married. I had my little kids. She had her little daughter. All of our friends had kids growing up together. Michelle would visit us in our home in South Miami or in our house in the Florida Keys. We would go fishing and diving together. Michelle is the kind of person that is always available, always friendly, always ready. It is impossible for me to even remotely think that she would engage in any of the kind of behaviors that she had been accused of. She would never hurt or help hurt anybody. That is not the sweet and kind Michelle Droconis that I know. And I think I know Michelle Droconis very, very well. I could see Michelle being stressed to a breaking point while being interrogated by the police, but I cannot see Michelle lying about something so important as 
this case that have been going on. I myself have been stopped in traffic by police, as by my license, insurance and registration, and not been able, due to stress and intimidation, to find it in my wallet, right in my hands. It happened last year. Now imagine being asked about a possible murder. I personally would simply faint right on the spot. We have been to family gatherings together, first communions, the birthday of our kids. I visited her in Colorado and in Connecticut. This is a person that is way more friendly than the normal. It's a woman that is always helping, always caring, living her own everyday issues, as we all have, crying her own tears, sweating her own sweat over all the life issues that we all have. This is tragic for everybody. It is tragic for the Dulos children. It is tragic for Mrs. Farber, the mother of Jennifer. It is very tragic for the Troconis family. It's extremely tragic for Michelle and her daughter. So many times I wanted to know I needed someone to go over for an employee in my practice in the front desk and she would stop whatever she was doing to come and help. She has always been available and the same way that she has been available for me and my friends, she has been available for anybody in the community that would need help from Michelle. She is as much victim of Foti Dulos as Jennifer was. It is a very sad situation. Michelle is a good woman. Michelle is a person that was raised with excellent manners, with character, moral integrity, by a loving father, by a loving mother, both committed healthcare professionals with professions of service, with loving, hardworking sisters, with an accomplished daughter who happens to be a ski champion at the national level. She's a woman that has had professional success and fell in love with a handsome, elegant man that was undergoing divorce and basically presented himself as a caring, loving, charming, successful businessman that he wasn't. Any woman could have been Michelle Troconis. Any woman would accompany her partner to do some chores. Any woman would have succumbed to the charm, elegance and class of Fotil Dulos. Any single woman could be sitting here today as a defendant instead of Michelle. In my personal opinion, and from what I've seen, she was utilized. She did not destroy or break a family. That relationship, from what I know, was already broken. The situation of Michelle is as tragic as the disappearance of Mrs. Jennifer Dulos. Your Honor, God bless you. I'd like to uh, now uh, play the video from Pat Patricia Sal um, Salamanca. Good morning, George Frankfurt. My name is Patricia Salamanca. Thank you for this opportunity to address the court. Please allow me to express my deepest sympathy for the Father Tulos family, for the loss of Jennifer. I would like to share the long-standing relationship my family has enjoyed with Michelle. One of our most significant experiences involved in trusting Michelle with the care of my son, who was 11 years old at the time and is now 39. He has special needs and was under her care while attending a summer camp in the USA for equine therapy training. We have known Michelle and her family for decades, sharing birthdays, weddings, baptisms, and numerous adventures. These interactions have given us profound insight into her character. Michelle is not only smart and hardworking, but also an extraordinary mother to her daughter, Nicole. Among her admirable qualities and her innate ability to understand and work with children with special needs, Michelle holds a very special place in my heart, and she always will. With deep empathy, 
and understanding for everyone affected by this tragedy. I stand in support of Michelle. I humbly implore you to consider extending mercy during the sentencing process. Thank you, Your Honor. And finally, um, the statement of Peruse Kabachoyan. Let me spell that. It's P E R U S E. Last name is K B A C H O Y A N. Hello, Judge Randolph. My name is Peruse Kachoyan. Thank you for allowing me to present a brief statement to the court today on behalf of my friend, Michelle Traconis. First, though, I want to reverently acknowledge the life and memory of Jennifer Dulos and the suffering her children and the Farmer family continue to endure because of her loss. Theirs is truly a compound tragedy, and my heart sincerely goes out to them. I met Michelle Traconis about four and a half years ago at Avon Congregational Church, where I've been an active member for several years. Working closely together on service projects, sharing in study groups, and community life in general, I have come to know Michelle as unassuming and hardworking, pitching in wherever she can without concern for praise or recognition. Michelle bust tables and did kitchen work for fundraising dinners. She regularly helped bake thank you treats for employees of local health care and service organizations. And during pandemic, Michelle often helped our pastor live stream Sunday services, which were so crucial to keeping our community connected and strong. From what I've witnessed these past four and a half years, helping and caring for others are not about what Michelle does. They speak to who she is. I wish time allowed more examples. Your Honor, Michelle's life is in your hands. I hope my statement and those of others who know and love her will help you see Michelle as worthy of mercy. Please, Judge Randolph, render a sentence within the bounds of your judicial discretion that allows Michelle hope for a future beyond prison, a future that allows for a productive life contributing to the welfare of her community. Thank you for listening, sir. Um, I would ask the court to now hear from Paola de la Torre. And after this presentation, we will stand in our lunch and recess from 1.30 until 2.30. Yes, and I'm mindful of that, and that's why I played the videos now, so that the few people that are left, there will be enough time. So. Thank you. Good afternoon, Judge Randolph. My name is Paola de la Torre. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to talk about Michel Carconis, one of my closest friends and a cornerstone in my journey as a mother and human being. But first, I want to express my sincere condolences to Dulo's children, family, and friends for their unimaginable loss. I met Michelle 11 years ago when, we, when one of our children attended the same Montessori school. We connected right away profoundly, and our friendship grew as we navigated the challenges of being a single mother in a foreign country. During the most difficult time of my life, my divorce, Michi was a pillar of wisdom and love. When I was overwhelmed with anger and confusion, it was Michi who taught me the power of acceptance and compassion. Her advice steered me towards reconciliation and peace. And even though I was upset and gave her many opportunities to talk badly about my ex-husband, but she didn't. Instead, with her constant support, encouraged me to have a loving relationship with him. And today, I share a harmonious relationship with my ex and our children thrive because of that. Michi exemplifies the spirit of, of co-parenting with her former partner, Gaston. Despite their separation as a couple over 10 years ago, they maintain a beautiful and supportive relationship, focusing on the well-being of their daughter, Nicole. I have personally witnessed them together during family 
gatherings and trips, and their positive parental friendships serve as a model for me facing the same situation, proving that separation does not preclude a healthy and loving family life. With a clear understanding of the gravity of the situation and in full awareness, I am supporting Michelle Troconis, my beloved friend. It's a woman of integrity, deeply committed with nonviolence and to fostering positive relationships. Judge Randolph, as you deliberate on Michelle's sentence, I ask you with all my heart to consider the woman I have described, the Michelle who has deeply touched and bettered my life. Her guidance is not just valuable, but essential for Nicole and for all of us who rely on her wisdom and kindness. It is my sincerest hope that mercy guides you today. Thank you. Thank you.